right guys, we have the Ferrari Roma here. Finish in Roma blue. This thing is so nice. We got new updated headlights and front grille. 620 horsepower. The engine from the Portofino and pretty much the same wheelbase. A new 8-speed dual-clutch transmission that runs much cooler than the previous versions of the dual-clutch transmission. So you can get this new front grille design, which doesn't have to have that much air intake going into the car to cool the clutch. Which is really cool. New LED front lights. one here which is kind of weird they don't have the scuderia shields on the side here anymore you can get that as an option to not have the scuderia shields uh, whereas that one over there does have it um, so that gives it a little bit more of a sleeker look to it we got the red interior door handles it's really nice you know, pop the trunk so in here you always get the plaque so it kind of tells you exactly what the options are here nice too how that trunk kind of it opens up with the bumper down here so it's like this right. is so it's low a, to put some things in yeah, here it's, it's pretty easy i mean it's a small trunk but at the same time though i've seen much smaller so yeah this is, this is big in my opinion for a brand yeah it was actually considered a front slash mid engine because of how far the engine goes back into the dash which is pretty cool you can see how far back that goes. Inside here, have all updated dash, really cool, all electronic. LEDs on the front here. Manatino switch is now all electric. The engine start stop is all LEDs. And you have your nod to the old school Ferraris here with the drive box here. And you got your switches for nav, sat, climate controls, even the passenger has their own controls on the side here for climate, music, interior here, it's a 2x2 two two, so you got some seats back there, not sure how much you can fit. arrow in here so this will come up to three different stages depending on your speed uh, this is not manual uh, this is just automatic whenever you're driving it comes up at various different times uh, active arrow which is really cool Your updated tail lights a lot sleeker design as opposed to the old school circular Ferrari tail lights Uh, this here is not carbon, but you can spec that in carbon. And the side sills that you can get spec out in carbon as well. Overall, such a cool design. A new updated key. No more red keys.
That's really awesome. And it has a, a spot for it inside, right? Yeah, right in the cup. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they're gonna make it like colorful the I'm sure you'll be able to just kind of like spec these yeah, out like right. the car. It's got your own little spot for the key right here. You don't have to worry about it falling out of your pocket while you're driving. So I'll oh, right over here. Yes, so on to the left, we have your reverse. So if you just hold it down and find the brake, you click it, you click it down. All of a sudden, your entire back seat is going to open up. Gotcha. The back lines and the turning radius as well. Okay. To get out of it, all you have to do is just put your foot back on to the brake and you put it on the first gear on for the paddle shifter. Okay. Transmission. Well, 
clearly you need to buy it because it matches my shoes. Oh, that's it? That's it's done. It. Done. And then this, you have these back here. Those are what they used to use in the old model Ferraris. Like the but they use it airplanes. And airplanes. Yes, there's that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the airplanes. What's your favorite thing about it? Paddle shifters, how fast and responsive they are. And also, the new steering wheel with all the LED controls, everything is on here. There's no buttons besides the Manatino switch, but even these, is all, this is all LEDs now. There's hardly any buttons. Everything is all driver-oriented. Everything 